Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss L, and this evening, you guys, I have a mm, semi-short mini haul of all of my candles that I have that are on display in my foyer or my living room area. So this is just a little bit of candles that I do not have that are in out on display. Um, I am going to do another video of the candles that I have that are in crates. I have about, hmm, about 30 crates of candles. Um, and they are put up in my, um, extra little, um, closet that I have. So, um, I'm just going to jump right into what I have. These are out on display. I'm actually thinking about taking them and putting them away for um, the season because it's fall. And as you guys know, they have a candle sale on all of their fall candles right now. So this is going to be a little short mini um, haul of the Bath & Body Works three wick candles. I thank everybody for watching my videos. Thank you to all of my subbies. You know who you are. Thank you to everybody who's commenting, sharing, and liking my videos. And do not forget to hit that notification bell down below, you guys, so that you will be notified every time I upload a video. I'm not going to go into the details of all of the candles. Maybe some, but you all have seen most of these. So I'm just going to go grab some randomly and just go off of the name so this one is ice coconut milk and I'm trying to focus 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 there you go so this is the ice coconut milk and you guys this was a good one this was a good one this was a good thrower she was probably about a good seven so those are the notes and I have a box here I'm just putting everything in so that I can actually put them away after this video. So the next one is pink watermelon. And these are the notes for her. I have two of these. So yeah. The next one is Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. So those are the notes for that. And this is a great candle. This one usually comes out around Christmas. The next one is Passion Fruit Vanilla Cupcake. And these are the notes for her. That one's, it's a good one. I had two of them, but I burned one. Sometimes that one gives me an inducing headache. Um, so I have to burn it when it's very warm outside. The next is Coconut Colada. And that is the scent notes for that. I do have two of these. So, yeah. The next is Warm Vanilla Sugar. Packaging is very cute. This is an oldie but goodie. And that is the scent notes for her. The next is the Stress Relief Aromatherapy Collection. The Eucalyptus Spearmint. And that is the scent notes for her. But the next I have two of as well. And these are the Vanilla Cola Candy. Yeah, this is the oldie but goodie. And that is the scent notes for her. So yeah, I like to um, put some of my candles on display and 
sometimes I do like to um, rotate them out so that I can kind of keep an inventory of what I have and that's usually what I do I write down all of the candles that I have um, I use um, these little tablets here and I have quite a few I have some from a couple of years now but this is a brand new one that I that I picked up so I started a new journal today and that's just to keep up with what I have and what I'm spending and everything so the next one is banana bun cake and these are the notes for that one. Yeah, I actually create a business out of what I do, you guys. So I try to do what I can <laughs> to make sure that I'm keeping up with what I'm spending, my inventory, just everything. So this one is saltwater taffy. This is a good one, you guys. These are her notes. Focus, focus, there she goes. This is an oldie. This is an oldie but goodie. It's the cream, creamy pink wax, like a very light pink wax. Smells great. <clears throat> And I know this candle is going on Macari for like 50 bucks. So yeah. I'm glad I'm holding on to those two. I have two of the same ones in two different packaging. This is the Champagne Toast. And this is in the Christmas packaging. They are the same. Um... So, yeah. Now, I do know that one of them has tangerine and one of them has nectar. So, it just depends on the season. Um, sometimes they use nectar and sometimes they use tangerine. I also have two other goodies. The same. This is Pink Petal Tea Cake. And yeah, she is a goodie. Good, good, good one, you guys. This is a staple from 2014. I think I got this a couple of years. So uh, it's been a while, but yeah. <laughs> the next one is the Be Mine. This one was released this year with that bake shop collection. The, um, this is really cute. This one reminds me of the Pink Fairy Gumdrop. So yeah, it smells just like cotton candy. Very sugary, very sweet. Creamy white wax. Yeah, it's pretty good. The throw is probably about a five, in my opinion. Um, this is another that was released this year as well. This is the 90s style rainbow confetti. These are her scent notes. And this one actually smells just like cereal, you guys. Like, almost like, um, shoot. I don't eat cereal, especially sweet cereal. If I do, I like Raisin Bran Crunch. But I think this one, in my opinion, smells like Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops or something like that. The next one is the Roma um, Pizzeria. This one was released um, a couple of years ago. In my opinion, oops, piece of hair there. In my opinion, this was a good, this is a good candle if you like pizza and doughy and basil like doughy the doughy smell or the like basil in my opinion this was not my favorite candle i only got it for um for one i got it because i knew that they would be sold out and i just said well let me just get one just to have for collection purposes it's very cute um the decor well package the wrap around is very cute 
Um, so yeah, but as far as burning it, I've never burned it. Doesn't smell good at all, in my opinion. And I absolutely love pizza, but I do not like that candle. <laughs> so I'm just being honest. Um, the next one is Red Velvet Cupcake. This one is an oldie but goodie as well. This is my second one. I've already burnt my first one. And these are her scent notes. This one is a light thrower as well. Maybe a small con a, a small concept area. Not very big. Your kitchen, maybe something of that nature. But like a living room or a bedroom, you'll be wasting your time. They should re-release this one though. It does feel pretty good when it's in a small concept area. Um, the next one is the Spice Vanilla Cupcake. This one was released this year as well. Packaging is very pretty. It's like the iridescent with the gold wrap on the ends and then the gold lid. These are the scent notes for her. Yeah, guys, if I if I read the scent notes, we'd be here all night. <laughs> so the next one is cereal and cartoons. And this is exactly <laughs> what it smells like. This is their 90s collection that came out this year. These are the scent notes. This one actually smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch to me. Exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So I'm mad I only got one. I was only able to get one. And I think I got that one when they went to like 50% off or something like that after the semi-angle sale. I should have gotten two. But, oh well. Maybe you'll see it again in December or for Candle Day or something. Um, this one is Strawberry Pound Cake. She's an oldie, OG. She's still in there. <laughs> She's still playing the field. I do like this one in particular I guess because it has the um, dark pink wax. It's just so cute to me. So that is Strawberry Pound Cake. Um, the next three, as you guys can see, I have three of these. This was a good one. I actually had five. I've already burned two since they were released back in the early part of this year. So this is Coconut Cream Pie, and this is part of their Bake Shop collection. This, really, this is a really good candle, you guys. Really good. I hope they bring it back next year. I enjoyed it. It's a good room filler. Anything with coconut to me, in my opinion, is a great room filler. The detailing on there is, is cute as well. It has the little coconut and then it has the, um, like the cream pie. And then like, you know, looks like, like chunks of chocolate and other little things on there. It's really good. Really good. Like the toasted coconut flakes and all of that. So I have three of those left. Um, I have another OG in the game, and that is Japanese Cherry Blossom. So yeah, if you know anything about Japanese Cherry Blossom, now they sell this online. This is online exclusive only. I did order it from online. Um, I've had this one, I've had these two for a while. I actually had three. Um, the throw on here is pretty decent. It's not as loud as the body care, but it is a good candle nonetheless. So, yeah, she's a good one. If you just want something like, you know, just smooth and relaxing, um, definitely a nighttime candle, in my opinion. The next two are fairly new as well. This one is the Black Cherry Fruit Pop. Um, I have not burnt this candle yet. Um, this one was released this year, so during SAS. So, yeah. These were the ones that were released without a lid. Um, I have so many lids, so I just put put a lid on these two. But, yeah, these are the scent notes. 
it does have that pretty lavender color wax or lilac very pretty color wax so yeah i can't wait to burn that one okay this one is another highly anticipated candle that came out this year during the bake shop collection um around val before valentine's day well it came out afterwards this was the the last two that came out in my opinion you guys i had to i burned one is the hype the hype was so real but to be honest with you this candle doesn't even throw a four <laughs> in my opinion in a small concept area but if you like lemon if you like that glaze smell this is sweet but it does not in my opinion they should have put more cake and more lemon i should have smelled this candle from across the room i should have smelled this candle down the hallway you cannot smell this candle unless you're over it standing over it literally pretty pretty wrap pretty um sticker pretty decor on the um sticker but that's it that's literally it this is not your lemon cello or lemon zest sugar lemon zest or any of that it is not it's not as <laughs> let's just say the hype was real um this is another um last year candle day collector um i do have another one of these i believe it's in in my closet um this one is the frosted moscow mule and this is good you guys this one is good this is a thrower here it has that seven uppy smell like you like seven up or like lemon and zest and lime this is it this is it this is a great candle so these are the notes for that. This is one that I will be looking forward to getting again if it's released again. Okay, the next is the salted caram salted chocolate caramel. And these are the notes for it. This is a great candle, you guys. If you like chocolate, it has everything that is in the description. <laughs> everything. The chocolate, the sea salt, the caramel. You can smell all of that. That's a great candle, you guys. This is one that I picked up during SAS, I believe. This is the um, Perfect Yoni. And this is a good candle. I've had this candle... Uh, not last year. I think 2019. So, yeah. This is a good, good candle, you guys. And they discontinued the body care in this. So, I'm glad that I was able to find one of these. <laughs> okay. The next is salted butterscotch you know this is a oldie but goodie this is the white barn collection Let's see that wax is the gold gold wax and that is her her um scent notes fragrance notes so yeah very buttery very sweet and creamy Definitely a great candle. And they actually have it out this year, too. So you might as well pick it up. Add it to your cart. So this one is one that was released this year as well. This is the Passion Fruit Banana Flower. This is in their new packaging. That's the lid. Um, These are the scent notes. This one actually smells more of a... I smell banana... But it's a light banana. I do smell more of the pineapple. I wish it was stronger. But it's a good candle nonetheless. Okay. The next two I have. I have our Waikiki Beach Coconut. 
So yeah, these two, this was a good candle as well. You know about Waikiki Beach Coconut. <laughs> this is almost like their spring staple, one of their spring staples. And those are the scent notes. I do like the soft matte feel with the flamingos. It's just cute, very cute. And then that's like a cockatoo or something like that on there. Okay, the next two that I have are Orange Pineapple Punch. So another cute packaging with the um, Pink Flamingo. This was a new one. This one actually smelled really good, you guys. Really, really good. The wax is white. And as you can see, it has that same um, gradient lid. And these are the scent notes. This is a good candle. I wish they would have bought this back. I mean, I, that I'm wishing that they bring this back next next spring. This is a great candle, you guys. All right. Another one that I was able to pick up was this pineapple pancakes. Um, this one. Yeah, I had split split emotions about this one. And when I say split emotions, I like it. But I wish they would have put more pineapple into this one. The packaging is very pretty. The color is very pretty. It's like this peachy color. But the only thing that I did not like, it started to give me a headache. And I love anything that has the syrup. I, I, I do, but it, it started to give me a headache on the first burn, the first one that I had, but um, this is my second one, so um, I'm going to save it. Maybe it'll smell better during the colder months, in my opinion, so I might put this with my winter um, collection, and those are the scent notes for her. That is pineapple pancake. Okay, I have three of these. This is whipped coffee. Very cute um, sticker with the espresso makers and all that. The cup of um, latte. So cute. Beans. It's very cute. Um, the scent notes in this are a shot of espresso sweet. Whipped sweet cream, sugar crystals with essential oils. This is not your Paris Cafe candle. This is a, literally, if you like sweet, this is it. This is not your Paris Cafe knock you off your feet candle. This is just a sweet light. You can smell the caramel. You can smell um, the sweetness. I can smell the sweetness. And it doesn't state that it has that in there, but you can definitely smell the sugar crystals and that um, whipped sweet cream. So yeah, I have three of those. Okay, I have four of the next. <laughs> And I just put everything on my couch because I didn't want them to fall and break and I didn't want to have an accident. So this one is the Wildberry Jam Donut. And that pretty same bake shop packaging with the donuts. And it has the actual um, berries there. I mean, very cute. This candle smells amazing. In my opinion, white wax. I love the lids on this on this collection, you guys. These are a nice, nice collection of um, candle jars. Soft matte feel, everything. It's just very nice. So, these are the scent notes to Wildberry Jam Donut. In my opinion, this one was the best out of every last one of those um, bake shop collection. Besides the 
second place would be the coconut cream pie, in my opinion. Set those to the side. Now, this is what I say. Um, um, this is a champagne toast. Now, this is their Ruin 90s collection. I got these during SAS, I believe. This past SAS. So, yeah. Um, this is nice. This is very nice. I like the velvet touch. The gold champagne bottle. I mean, it just says beautiful. Like, classy. And the gold just did something to me, you guys. <laughs> I love gold. Let's see. And this candle is much stronger, in my opinion, than the um, Christmas collection or even the White Boring collection. And this is what I say. So, the last one had tangerine. This one has sweet orange. I knew it was something different about the scent notes. That's the only thing that is different. But it's all the same, in my opinion. I have not burned this candle, but in my opinion, this collection is stronger. Like, as soon as I took the lid off, I could smell it. Okay, the next two I have is Mary Mimosa. And it has that same um, velvet touch. Um... This is this also reminds me of champagne toast. But it has a another berry note in it that's really just like sets it aside from you know your standard champagne toast. But to me it's all in the same family. <laughs> and these are the scent notes for that. The apple. Maybe the apple sets it aside. Because this one does have champagne in it. So it has to be the apple. Okay. Another two that I found at my um, door SAS is the Cookies and Cream Milkshake. And let's see. These were the scent notes for, for that. And this smells exactly as the name states. It smells just like an Oreo cookie with inside of milk, a milkshake, like a McFlurry. That is a great candle, you guys. Okay. The next two that I have are warm apple pie. This is this year's collection. Um, I did not get this collection or did not pick up this candle last year. So I was excited to, um, be able to, to get it this year. I have not burned it yet. I'm saving it. Of course, in my opinion, this is a fall candle. So I will be saving it to burn, um, this fall. Yeah, it's just the crust and the apple. Like, oh. But it's this is a good this is a good candle, you guys. Let's see. I have one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, and six. It's hard to film with one hand. So I'm giving props to people who film with one hand. <laughs> Because it takes a lot to film with one hand. Um, I love the red, of course. I love the red. Um, and this one is Bubbly Rosé. This is one of their newer candles that came out with their Bake Shop collection this year. Has the champagne um, bottles and champagne um, cups. The rose. I mean, it's just pretty. It's pretty. It's a... This is a nice candle, you guys. You have to like it. Either you love it or you hate it. In my opinion, I love it. It's the next best thing to me, in, in my opinion, to um, Champagne Toast. I will pick this one over Champagne Toast. So, these are the scent notes. 
I think the Sweet Blood Orange does something, or the Cranberry. I'm, I'm not sure, but it sets it aside. It actually wakes it up. So, yeah. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Beautiful lid. Beautiful lid on those. And next three are I have one in this packaging of pink apple punch and then I have two in this packaging I like pink apple punch um, I think she's a goodie um, she's not something that I will hoard but um, this was another SAS fine so yeah um, these are her scent notes, crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, sugar crystals with essential oils. Um, I think the apple stands out. That's why I like it so much. It does smell just like a fruit punch, in my opinion. So, yeah. Nice pink apple punch. And then this packaging, it's it's cute. This is the this is this is the one from this year. Um <laughs> I like it, but I think I like the hot pink wax and their other one more than this one. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Okay. The next three are the Iced Blueberry Biscottis. This was released with that Bake Shop collection as well. Um, I love the um, berries. And then they have the measuring spoons. And it looks like they have the actual espresso um, coffee. Um, little coffee maker there. <sighs> yeah, I like this candle. A lot of people did not like this candle. This is a good candle, you guys. To me, it beat out that one that came out for um, maple blueberry, uh, <laughs> the maple blueberry pancakes. That one, to me, in my opinion, does not have any throw. This one, I don't know if it's the biscotti, but the blueberry is more prominent in, in this one, to me, in my opinion. This is a good candle. These are the notes. You get the blue sugar blueberries. You get the sweet vanilla icing. You, you definitely smell the almond biscotti and the brown sugar. So, I love this candle. I wish I would have <laughs> ordered more. But, yeah. She's a nice candle. Okay. The next two that I have... Is in the salted pretzel milkshake. You guys, this is a hit or miss for me. Um, I picked up two. Um, I did start burning this one. As you can see, I burned it maybe an hour. I had to put it out. I started to get an inducing headache. Um, the only reason that I'm keeping it because my son, he likes it. So, it makes him... My son is 23 years old, you guys. But he said he likes the smell of it. So, it's only because of him that I kept it. But these are the scent notes. Creamy vanilla ice cream. Salty pretzel bits. Gooey chocolate drizzle. You get that salty uh, smell. You get the pretzel bits. And you do smell the chocolate. But what I do not like about this candle is that when you burn it, it like into the first hour, it's okay. It's decent. But going into the second, it starts to smell like somebody's burning a pretzel. Like literally. Like you know how popcorn smells so great until you burn it. Then it's just like, ugh, the smell is horrible. So that's this that's what this candle does to my nose it's like a trigger for a headache after you know going into like the 
going into the like the second hour it starts to give me an inducing headache um the next two that i have are in the um rose water and ivy and this is for their um this is their valentine's day packaging this was one that came out this year as well and these are the scent notes i'm not a big fan of rose water and ivy um but Let's just say that I really got for the packaging. <laughs> the packaging is cute. My daughter loves it. So, hey, she will burn these. She loves she loves anything that's floral like this. That's, um, in my opinion, I do like rose, but I like rose when it's mixed with vanilla or something of that nature. That one has musk and rose. You're getting a double whammy of strong, strong, strong. So the next three that I have here are the Hibiscus Paradise. Um, I like this candle. It's soft, but it has a decent throw. I can put this in my in my bedroom, which is pretty large, and it fills up my entire bedroom along with my bathroom. And I can smell this candle coming down the hall. Um this candle didn't get that much rave, but in my opinion, this is good. You get exactly what's in here. You can smell the juicy guava and the sun-kissed coconut. I don't know about the pink hibiscus, but you definitely smell the guava and the sun-kissed coconut. A light pink, almost a very, very light pink, off-white looking wax. The wicks are good and thick. And the thicker the wicks are, you know, that, that means that the um, the fragrance, it has to work a little harder to, to pump out the fragrance. And because it does work harder, that means it's going to burn a little hotter. So that's one thing to consider um, when looking at your candles or buying candles. The thicker the, the wicks the more it's going to take to pull out the fragrance. But when it pushes up the fragrance into the air, it's going to burn at a, a hotter um, temperature. Of course, it, it, the, the flames may dance and all of that, so you need to trim your wicks. Um, these are, like I said, the scent notes for Hibiscus Paradise. And in my opinion, this is a good, this is a good candle. Will I buy it again when it comes back out? I sure will. I love the packaging. Complete wrap around with those hibiscus flowers. Um, like the translucent um, sticker. The leaves. I mean, it's just a pretty, The even the top, the lid. Rose gold. I mean, it's just so pretty to me. And last but not least, you guys. I have one, two three four five and six so and that candle is the thousand wishes a thousand wishes so I have one in the white wax and then I have four or five in the um soft pink wax this is a good candle in my opinion um it's not for a large concept area but you can burn this in your standard bedroom um if you keep the doors closed this will travel um this is a nice candle in my opinion when i don't want something that's very very strong or overpowering but i want to you know clean up and just have my room smelling really nice this candle is the candle to go to. The packaging is adorable. <laughs> adorable. And these are the scent notes for it. Sparkling champagne, of course. <laughs> yeah, that one is very pretty. I'm going to let you guys see the white one. I'm glad that they changed um, 
the sticker on that one. Even though this one is cute too. And that is the scent notes on that one. They have the exact same notes. This one is definitely a lot older. I've had this one for a while. And the rest of them are fairly new. And they do have this candle online. This is a online exclusive now. So, yeah. I'm glad because people were upcharging these for these particular candles on Macari for 30 bucks. Or $35, $40 for one candle. And you can get it today for $12.95. So you better take advantage of that candle sale, you guys, if you like a thousand wishes. Because I know that they have it online. So you guys, that is all of the candles that I have that are in my foyer or in my living room. Um stored i have those of course and then i have um so I'm, I'm trying to organize and get everything put up but i'm so happy that you all were able to join me on this edition of my candle haul my first candle um haul for <laughs> right now um and don't forget to come back and stay tuned for my next candle hauls you guys until next time bye